How is this for a campsite? You, causing trouble. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> that one is not going near my lips. We are that meme with the Smurf. Pour me a pint, love. This is Aaron's life now, getting used to doing the ramps, making sure the chocks are in while I sit here with my foot on the brake. <laughs> How is this for a campsite? Pretty bloody amazing, if you it's ask good. me. I'm um, surprised. Yeah, it was only, so I think it cost us for three nights, it was only about $120, so power for power and water. And I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but like, we're gonna be going to sleep with the sound of a waterfall tonight. So it must be like we drove over the creek, river, whatever it is, mm. um, coming here, it's just there. And the waterfalls, there's a little walkway just out the back there, and a swimming hole apparently. Yep, so it's like Melanda Falls Caravan Park is the place that we're staying. And yeah, you get private access to Melanda Falls. Mm. And then there's a little walk down here that apparently you can spot uh, turtles and platypus, platypus which is mm. exciting. Which so we'll we've do never that. seen one in the wild. But yeah, we're spending, you have. Oh, that's right, you have, yes. So yeah, we're gonna spend a couple of days here in the Atherton Tablelands. There's heaps that I wanna do. Mm. So hopefully it's not all really expensive, but... No, but they have had, they just had like two days straight of rain. Everything is so wet. Like yeah. our ground outside the caravan is just soaking, but mm. it's not too bad. We've got the mat down. It's all good at the moment. Anyway, we'll show you around this caravan park because there's a petting zoo and everything. Mm. And then we might go for a walk down to the falls. Oh, he's yeah. keen. <laughs> he's keen. <laughs> hey, Chucks. <laughs> wow! <laughs> no! It feels a little bit funny. <laughs> Jesus! It's okay. It's okay. It's just because you got food. It's all right. It can't eat your needs. Thank you. Dad, take it! Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you, causing trouble. You've uh, made a few friends. I have. I've got a farmyard now that's following us. Home. Little pony. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Is it hurt? Yeah, it's all right. Ooh. He's <laughs> 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 Good work, <laughs> Mr. Alpaca. Are you shy? Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Here's the van. Let's see how long it takes to walk down to these falls. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that's how... That's how muddy it is.
That was not what I was expecting. No, it's like a pool. Pool slash waterfall. How cool is that, eh? Literally a 30 second walk. A bit too cold right now to swim. I think it's about 22 degrees. I've got to be a little bit warmer for me. Well, morning everyone. Hey, um, having a bit of scrambled eggs for brekkie with some sourdough. Bit of a go-to at the moment. Um, except for Bella. You don't like it, do you? Unless she smothers it in Frank's hot sauce. Yeah, true. <laughs> so she can't taste the eggs. <laughs> hey, um, beautiful day today. We knew the weather was coming good, which is going to work in our favour for what we want to do. What are we going to do, Erin? I don't know. I think there's like a few things on the list today. I want to go to a dairy, like a cheese place and a chocolate place. Oh, there's great. crystal caves. There's the curtain fig tree. Yeah, there's a few things. Well, we'll uh, smash a bit of brekkie and we'll get out and about and see how much of that we can see. Back into the grind as well. Schooling on the road. I'll tell you what, oh, face it up myself, that'll help. Uh, kids are doing heaps better this time around. They got up this morning. What, what are you about to say? I was going to say, we've been rubbish at <laughs> making them do it. We have been, but they have been getting up and doing it themselves. Um, obviously, we have to sit down with them and check it all. But um, yeah, happy. Super impressed. Um, <laughs> all right, first stop, Garlo Dairyland. Cheese and chocolate. It's only about uh, five minutes out of Melander itself. Yep, yeah, and we're not sure if it's dog friendly, so we're just going to leave the dogs in the car. It's quite a cool day today, so they'll be fine. They should be fine, but we won't be very long anyway. All right, so in the animal nursery here, the first thing you see are chickens and a rooster, but have a look at what's sitting in behind the rooster. What are you doing, mate? They're all doing it. Every single one is sucking on the metal bars. Surely we've got a dairy farmer following us. What Let us know, doing? what are they doing? So we ended up coming out with a mixed 12 pack of chockies. And Erin got herself a cheese platter. What do you reckon? I reckon we save that until later. Yep, have, have it, it around by the fire. fire. All right, Just bang that in there. In the lid. Did it? Oops. Oh, that won't fit. Oh no, too many uh -oh. beers. Gonna have to take something out. But have a look at these. I can open it. Yeah, you open it, Matt, because I'm struggling. Yeah, I'm oh, it's got tape on it, that's why. Oh, have a look at those. Alright, try one each, kids. I want eleven on all of this one. Okay. What do you go? Turkish for what? Mm. You went Nutella it's truffle. Mm. Good? Mm. All right, our next stop for the day is Skybury Coffee, which apparently is dog friendly. So these guys get to get out. Yeah. Coop's, <laughs> Coop's gone. He's like, me, done with being in the car. 
Hey, come here. <laughs> yeah, so apparently these places, this place does really good coffee. It's like a full coffee experience, so you can see how it's grown, how they roast it and everything. So we've been on the hunt for some good coffee beans. And why is that? For our coffee machine. Yeah, we're out of coffee and we said we were going to get some in cans. And we haven't found anywhere that we like yet. No, we put, so. on, we put on Insta to give us recommendations and I actively went to a few of those and tried the coffee first. And they weren't bad coffees, but not our style. Mm. So it's hard too it. because we have very different styles of coffee, but every now and then there'll be one that we both like. So we're looking for that <laughs> unicorn coffee. <laughs> after the last experience of taking the dogs out I am so nervous <laughs> that one of them's gonna poo somewhere <laughs> they're doing good they are they're actually doing really well So we got a kilo of the dark roast. So, and the guy was like so awesome. He so knowledgeable and like really took the time to make sure you got the full experience. And he was telling us that the darker the roast, the less bitter it is, which I've had wrong. Yeah, my we whole thought life. it was the opposite. I thought it was the opposite. Yeah. So when I tried this one, it was like so smooth and delicious. I was like, I could almost drink that black, I reckon. I'm going to try it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, that's like our first coffee plantation that we've ever been to. Um, little fact about it, it was Australia's largest coffee plantation until very recently. Um, but I chucked the drone up, and to be honest, I wasn't actually sure which ones were the coffee trees. So. <laughs> I don't know, somewhere in that footage of the coffee trees. But um, yeah, quite a large plantation here. But just um, really knowledgeable people. We, we, He said to us, what do you know about coffee? And we were like, nothing, we drink it. <laughs> yeah, we like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we learned a bit. It was pretty cool. So well worth stopping in here. Oh, he did out. say it's the oldest That's coffee right, plantation though. In Australia. Yeah. But yeah, it was an awesome experience. Super dog friendly, which we were really impressed with. Mm. Um, and yeah, like I said, he was lovely and just wanted to make sure that everyone was looked after and would highly recommend. See you, dogs. Ah, dogs are staying in there, National Park. Can't, better lock them in. <laughs> Can't take dogs in. So they're all good there. They're nice and cool in the back. All right, let's go see it. That's the curtain fig tree. Had an original tree, fig tree took over, grew all its vines, strangled the host, and then left what you see. Pretty amazing. It it's is. Massive. And it's literally it's just there, so the car's just here. It's yeah, a it's not a two it's minute like a, walk. It's like a five minute stop kind <laughs> yeah. of thing. Yep. So the kids are helping me make dinner tonight, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what are you chopping? I guess. <laughs> this is Bella's safety gear how she gets away with, you know, not crying when she cuts onions. What are you doing, Tobes? Cutting bacon. Mm, good job. 
Got to put them to work. I'm going to do the beef. We're doing a slow cooked beef casserole with potato dumplings at Toby's request. So should be delicious. I think we're also having a fire tonight. So hopefully it's going to be a good night. So this campground lets you have fires as long as they're off the ground, which is all good because we've got the fire pit. This is actually our first fire of this it's trip. trip. Nearly five weeks in. <laughs> we were talking the other day with some people and I said, I don't have fires that often. I don't know. It's been stinking hot though, so you haven't really wanted a fire. Yeah, a lot of people love a fire in the heat. Oh, that's not me. I like to sit around when it's colder and it's colder here. It's mm. like, uh, it got warm today, but yeah, it's probably but only it's cool now. 20 degrees, which is freezing if you ask me. The perfect time for me to tuck into this cheese Ooh, butter that yeah. I bought today. Not gonna lie, Bella and I have already picked at it. <laughs> and I said to Alex, I'm gonna have to go back and get more, especially of this rainforest one, because it is delicious. Hey, back to the fire. I came out here, figured out where the wind was going, because there's not much wind at all, and it was all good. Lit the fire, smoked straight into the caravan. <laughs> I don't know, I've got this habit. We are that meme with the Smurf, where the fire just follows <laughs> it, that's us. What's your superpower? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you go, you get <laughs> smoked out. Uh, anyway, we'll enjoy this fire. Righto guys, we've come for a half an hour drive today out to Herberton. Herberton? Herberton? <laughs> <laughs> I was calling it Hamberton a minute ago. <laughs> hey, um, Does that surprise you? <laughs> Alex getting a name wrong? The reason we come out here is there is a historical village um, all about like the mining and the historical stuff, funnily Whatever enough. Whatever happened in Herberton, <laughs> we don't really know yet. Anyway, dog friendly. driving all our trip in that. Pour me a pint, love. <laughs> Tell you what, the service is terrible. I've been standing here for <laughs> 10 minutes. No one's offered me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that moves heaps. Toby, no! <laughs> Go, Toby, do it. Oh. <laughs> so we didn't realise when we walked onto this bridge, it's actually a suspension bridge and it moves quite a bit. <laughs> Can I have the dog bowl, please? Voila. <laughs> she carried that around all day in her hat just in case the dogs needed water. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's got a baby. It's got a little baby in its pouch too. No. Guys, we think we may have found a tree kangaroo. There's signs everywhere for them around here and to be careful. Look at this little fella. Or lady. It's got a baby. Hello. 
So this place here is Mount Hippipimi. Hippipimi. <laughs> Hippipimi. <laughs> we got told that this is a great little walk. It's only 400 meters, so the dogs are back there in the canopy. It's nice and cool, so they're fine. Um, and it's a volcanic crater. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Just go have a quick little look and tick another thing off our list. Yep, apparently it's quite cool. Have a go at how mossy this track is. Shows how like tropical this area is. It's wild. Yeah. So the same path has waterfalls on it. We had no idea of that, but you could obviously hear it as soon as you got to the car park. Fairly impressive. Sinkhole and waterfalls. Yeah, nice little walk. <laughs>